Hey everybody, Guy Jin Guinea Pig here. Welcome back to the American Struggles to Read Japanese series, uh, the Kudo series, if you will. Basically, where I'm keeping track of my reading progress, uh, practicing reading Japanese. Kanji, as you may or may not know, is quite challenging. But also, there are some Japanese viewers who find it interesting to see how I translate things from Japanese into English. As well as some non-Japanese viewers have found some of, well, my limited cultural and language knowledge quite useful. If you didn't know, I created a playlist so you can check out any of the previous episodes. This is episode four, by the way. Today we'll be doing two books per usual. I think that's the the norm for now. I have a little bit of a cold that I'm、uh, trying to overcome, so if my voice sounds a little strained, that's why, dear viewer. Episode four's first book is TKG. Ah, TKG. Now I actually know what this stands for. T stands for tamago, egg. K stands for kake, which means to apply like a sauce, like a splash or a dash of something, like a naso kake te, like to apply the sauce. And G, gohan, the rice. So basically, eggs over rice. In this instance, it is a raw egg, which to people outside of Asia, Japan, might be a little bit of a cultural taboo. Something that you know gives them some pause. As an American, it certainly does for me, or at least it did at first, because in America we just don't eat raw egg. Uh, we are raised to believe that that is going to kill us. I have had a few experiences with TKG here in Japan, and yeah, it's not bad. The experiences I've had is usually raw egg with meat, like a sukiyaki type of situation. That's where you would, you know, dip the cooked meat into raw egg, coat it with the raw egg, and then you could eat that. It, it's just a whole different world, folks.、Um, it may not be what you're used to, but. It's perfectly safe here in Japan, so consider it if you have not next time you visit or、uh, get a chance. All right, TKG, let's begin. Ah, te, tamago. Yes, the egg. I'm sorry. I I feel like I've already explained the the entire book and we haven't even started it yet. Ke, kake, the pouring, the the. Adding of the egg. G, gone. Not to be confused with the、uh, Dragon Ball. You get, you get what I'm saying. T K G, tamago kake gohan. Eggs over rice. Oh, we got a little story. Great. Tamago kake gohan o tsukuri masho. Let's make. Eggs over rice. We got tamago, the egg. We got a happy little guy. We got atatakai gohan, atatakai, warm, so warm rice. And then we have shoyu, which is soy sauce.、Uh, when I was an English teacher, my my students would love when I would say shoyu, because I would ask them, "Hey, show me. Let me show you something. Let me show you, show you." And then they would always say shoyu. So you see the word play, yeah. The kids love that. Oh, there's a warning here at the bottom. Nama de taberare ru tamago tsukutta kura tsukutte kurasai. And the translation they have for us: Please check if the eggs are safe to be eaten raw. That's always great advice. Tamago warimas. Crack the egg, right? To crack the egg, tamago maze mas maze to mix mix the egg, tamago kake mas to apply the egg to the rice in this instance, shoyu o kake mas to to apply the the soy sauce to add the so the soy sauce, a dash a splash. Itadakimas, which 
is sort of a set Japanese phrase that you say before eating a meal. I'm sure many of you have heard that before. Uh, the food's presented, itadakimasu, at the end, gochisosama deshita. But yes, it's something to, I guess, give thanks for the meal that you're about to consume. Oh, we got a whole, whoa. This is like a, a video game instruction manual all of a sudden. The full moon. Okay, that's got the egg yolk on top of the rice. Iro iro na TKG. So various types of tamago kake gohan. Dark side. Okay, a little Star Wars influence. It looks like a shoyu flavored yolk, maybe. They know that I'm just learning how to read this. Why are they, why are they getting so involved with the kanji? We're not we're not there yet, folks. Only you. Oshiroi. That's interesting. Only you. Toyuimi? I don't exactly know what only you is trying to say. Unless it's a play on words for OU. OU is hot water. If any Japanese viewers want to chime in, give their, their thoughts on these uh, recipes, please do. I miss you. The the egg is gone. Maybe just completely mixed in. S S K G. Okay, that's show you kake gohan. Soy sauce over rice. Imagination. Uh, come up with your own ideas, I suppose. Well, uh, okay. The end of TKG. I have to admit that I don't have a lot of experience, like I said, eating raw egg over rice. It's just not something uh, I was culturally accustomed to for most of my life. And, you know, uh, ever since I've been in Japan, it's just not something that I guess I seek out. I understand it's a big staple in Japanese culture. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's not weird. It's just different. Let me know your thoughts on TKG and uh, have you had any experience eating it? What do you think? Uh, your cultural background, how it differs in, in sort of how you look at a cuisine like that. All right, let's move on to book number two. What is this? We have... Nani o nomimasu ka? What will you drink? So nani, what, nomi? Nomimas to drink, something to drink. And he looks like he's having a nice glass of water. All right. Kore wa cup this. This is a cup. Kore, this, cup, cup. Nani o nomimasu ka? What will you drink? Mizu o nomimasu. I'll drink water. Mizu is water. Nomimas to drink. This. this is a cup. Now, you might be thinking, um, wasn't that other one a cup as well? Yes, dear viewer, the lines get a little blurry, but they're both cups. Nani o nomimasu ka? What will you drink? Kohi o nomimasu. I'll drink coffee. Kore wa tokkuri to. Ochako des. Whoa. Kore wa tokuri to ochako des. Nani o nomimasu ka? What will you drink? I've got to look this up, folks. I, I don't know what this is. But we're going to get to the bottom of it right now. Kore wa tokuri to ochako des. Okay, according to my friend Google, this is a sake bottle and this is a sake cup. Uh, I'm not an alcohol drinker, therefore looking at this didn't really trigger anything in terms of vocabulary or what I thought that was. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. So so the tokuri part is the sake bottle and the ochoko is the sake cup. Interesting. Okay, I'm learning something new culturally as well. What will you drink? Atatakai o sake o nomimasu. 
I'll drink warm sake, you know, Japanese alcohol, sake. Um, again, something I don't drink. Uh, the bottle here in kanji actually says Nihonshu, which is Japanese liquor. Uh, yeah, not my thing. Kore wa masu desu. Now, I don't know how you would translate masu necessarily, but this is that traditional box that you see um, individuals drink alcohol out of, sake out of this. Let's ask our friend Google what that means. Now, interestingly, Google would translate mas as a measuring cup which I don't think you would necessarily think of right away, but it is a traditional box used to measure out rice or sake. Nani wo nomimasu ka? What will you drink? Aha! Tsumetai o sake wo nomimasu. So, tsumetai being cold or chilled, chilled sake. I'll drink, I will drink chilled sake. Out of, out of the box, out of the mas. Kore wa oan desu. Oan is like a traditional lacquer pottery type of bowl, as you can see. You may have seen bowls like these used to serve rice or maybe miso soup, for example. Uh, nani wo nomimasu ka? What will you drink? Ah, yes. Miso shiro wo nomimasu. I'll drink miso soup. Miso shiro, miso soup. I'll drink that. Yeah. I love miso soup, by the way. Kore wa chawan desu. Nani wo nomimasu ka? Chawan is, like you can see this, it's, it's a dish. It's a bowl, essentially. I guess maybe even referred to as a, a, a tea bowl. I think you could see these in tea ceremonies. Okay. Matcha wo nomimasu. Matcha being green tea. I have to admit, and this is maybe upsetting to some viewers, I am not a fan of matcha. I'm not a fan of bitter flavors. Uh, and of course, matcha is very bitter and thus not for me. Matcha o nomimasu. I will drink green tea. Kore mo chawan desu. This is also a bowl. So kore mo, this, mo, implying also kore mo. Chawan this. This is also a bowl. Nani wo nomimasu ka? What will you drink? Iie, nomimasen. Gohan wo tabemasu. Plot twist. Oh, you little pig. Look at those cheeks. So he's saying, no, I'm not going to drink. I'm going to eat rice or I'm going to eat. Gohan being rice, tabemasu, to eat. Nomimasen, to not drink. So, no, I'm not going to drink. I'm going to eat rice. Uh, like a pig. And there it is. Nani wo nomimasu ka? The end. We had a little bit of a plot twist at the end. The boy that appears here on the front of the book, breaking water, decided to shovel rice into his mouth at the end. Uh, that was interesting for me because I felt like I was not just getting some reading practice in, but I was learning some cultural points that maybe I hadn't thought about, at least for a while. Okay, so these two books weren't as wild and crazy as episode three with the plot twists and the drama, but they were definitely more culturally informative. So uh, for me, that was quite interesting. I figure anytime I got to look out the translator and start Googling some words, uh, that's a good thing. I'm learning something. So that's the end of episode four of uh, struggling to read Japanese. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Anything you'd like to contribute uh, either of these stories, uh, whether it be cultural or language specific, please feel free. I would love to hear from you. But as always, thank you so much for helping my small channel grow. Thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one.